Seeing someone that Abel cherishes his suffering makes him sad. Oh my god, how are you so empathetic to him? Hey guys, welcome back to Snowy Escapes, also known as Empire, also known as The Favourite. Favourite, Coda's off to work, also Coda's reached physical fitness. He has reached the maximum body potential. Okay. Maximum muscle mass, low body fat. He is, he has peaked. He has reached the best he is ever going to be. All he has to do now is just get to level 10 the fitness skill and he's going to live forever. Honestly, I can't wait. <laughs> can't wait. Little Angel is now a toddler bean. And as you can see, she's eating, aside from the fact she's eating French toast, she got beautiful baby blue eyes and beautiful red hair. She got Asriel's beautiful red hair. Hair, Emrys' red hair, the red hair gene lives on, and I'm here for it more, so just gonna go and put the French toast in the fridge. Let's put the walls up, we don't want to have walls down. When I played Sims 2, I used to always keep the walls down for some reason, I never bothered to put them up. And then when I learned that actually having walls half up like this is actually better, because it gives it the more dollhouse feel, then I started doing that, but she is currently having little bit of breakfast. She's an independent bean. She's an independent bean, strong bloodline, and she's also magic. Them, them, their magic genes are strong. Their magic genes are strong. Max is also in a super energetic mood. Will you stop crafting knife blocks? Dude, at some point you're going to want to open a Plopsy account and we're, we're not going to be dealing with that. You have to get stuff done. Oh, you have got to level it in the mischief skill. You've got work tomorrow and you've got to work super hard because you got to get that promotion to become the safe cracker. We gotta get you to the top of your career, boy. You know, it's 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 hard for him to... Also, we don't want him to become the hermit, but apparently he's going to be. Abel needs to get up. He needs to get up. You're gonna end up going to school stinky, aren't you? Yes, you are. All right, before you head in, you might wanna go and just throw some perfume on. Throw a bit of cologne on. Stop looking at your phone. And then you got to head to school. Also, we can look at all his uh, the sentiments now because my uh, uh, my traits thing had an update. I had to pay two dollars for it. Uh, so currently, he's got a hurt sentiment with Max because you know angsty teenager Amorite. He's got an adoring sentiment with Asriel because Asriel is basically the father he never realized he wanted until uh, he realized that Asriel is actually kind of the better father than Max. And Kyoshi and Max and Abel rather have a lot of sentiments by each other. Fun in the snow, growing closer from quality time. And adoring because he wants the best for him. But also Kyoshi had a nice heart-to-heart -heart moment with Abel while relaxing in the water together. And heating up the body can help a sim warm up to people. Because he's been struggling. But we're going to bring him over this weekend, which means he'll be added to family. But we're going to not so much do things in the house. We're going to be going out into the town and stuff to do things. Because, oh, he is actually wearing school uniform now. When did that fix? Maybe it's because he always went to school. But he's actually wearing the school uniform and he looks kind of... Oh, it's so cool. I'm actually just going to grab a screening of that. Because it looks actually really cool. Even if he's glowing <laughs> from um, a nice grapefruit scent. But he's actually wearing the school uniform. I'm not sure how that fixed. Maybe it's because he was in his pyjamas. I don't know. No, because he did go off to school in his pyjamas one time. Which was weird. But he's actually wearing a school uniform. Somehow that fixed itself. Also, apparently if you go into other... you baking cakes again. Asriel. Okay, I need you to take your medicine. I bought you a lot of medicine. So forget about the cake for now. Put that up on the, sh up on the tea shelf here. And take your medicine. This should help curb his... Uh, sim yeah, it's completely curbed his... Uh, his thing. All right, clean up the cake. It's actually kind of sad that Asriel's got this hor like I say this horrible compulsion. He's he's got this compulsion that he just needs to keep his hands doing things. Otherwise, he feels like you know things could go wrong for him. Code is attempting to deadlift a new personal best and is achingly close to getting the barbell off the ground. Though he usually frowns at other Sims who grunt and shriek at the gym, at this time Coda thinks it might just give him the push he needs. Stay silent or scream. <laughs> Oh, the question. 
and I watch, I follow wrestlers on Instagram, so sometimes they post videos of them doing deadlifts and stuff. So I'm kind of, and not all of them are allowed. Some of them are, they do kind of the, ugh, kind of thing. But then again, these are guys who throw each other around a squared circle for like half an hour in front, in front of crowds. I think he should scream because I could just imagine Coda just going, ah, like that to get a, uh, Oh, Coda lets out a grunt, then a screech, then echoing a guttural snarl, which causes the entire gym to stop and stare. Unfortunately, these noises did not help with the lifting whatsoever, leaving Coda hunched over and embarrassed. Oh, my baby. Oh, he made a complete ass out of himself. The grunt of shame. He was trying his hardest, and it just didn't work. It just did not work. The poor little bean. Angel, what are you doing wandering around? She's getting her movement up. Uh, you also need to go to the bathroom. Jeb Harris. Oh, Jeb. Uh, do you need to make a donation to charity? Why not? We have money. We could throw it around. Court, cool. you've been building things again. Uh, little Bean. Oh, Little Bean's such an independent bean. She's going to the potty all by herself, and then she's going to go to sleep. I said, no, don't go to sleep. Go to the potty first. She's meant to go potty, then go sleep, you guys. And Abel will be back after school. School. We'll bring Kyoshi round, and we're going to go and do a lot of fun stuff together in this episode. I've spent five minutes just dealing with all these dudes for now. Max, why are you dressed like... Oh, yeah, I forgot I dressed you like Danny from Greece for some reason. He's got chills, the multiplying. And he's losing control. That's all you're getting. Okay, Abel's come back. He is. Oh, he had a pretty bad school day. Doesn't help that, um, yeah, that happened during one of his classes. So he's going to come in, take a shower just to cool things off. Then he's going to go and find Kiyoshi, meet up with him, be like, yo, come on over. We can hang out this evening and over the weekend. Maybe he'll come over Saturday. I think his dad might still be in town. But we'll meet up with Kyoshi after he's had a shower. Bomber school day, though. That kind of sucks. But he's pretty invisible, which is fine. But it's, it's quite embarrassing when that happens. Again, just... Yeah, that's what happens when you're a teenager. Also, I did put my uh, Milestones mod back in because it was still working. So I put it back in and it's working fine, which is good. Okay, we're going to go travel with our... Best boy, Kyoshi. And we're going to go down into... I'm kind of thinking the main town, or at least back to their usual hangout spot. Maybe the main town, because I think there's semi machines down there. And we can look up for when the next festival's going on. Because I don't actually know when some of the festivals happening. Because we did the snowy one. And I know there's one that happens in this neighborhood and this neighborhood. Oh, oh Kyoshi's put oh, on yeah. a bit of a vest today, Ooh. but... Ooh. Those are still some pretty nasty bruises. Are you just... Oh yeah, you're still yelling, aren't you? Feeling hurt by someone oh, nearby. Time yeah. might heal Abel's pain, but it still hurts for now. Who is nearby that hurt you? That's what I want to know. Uh, where's your... Say... Not Max, is it? Does someone have a with Kyoshi? No, it was probably because Max was nearby and he got a bit, uh... A bit angry. About that, but he's just like... He's just like, oh, dude, I'm so humiliated from school today. Oh, hey. He's also tense again. He's tense. Wait, but they've still got their nice, pleasant sentiments. Maybe we'll find... Uh, let's actually find out what's going on when the next festival is, because I want to know about that. How's he feeling that thing again? Good company from adoring someone nearby. That's sweet. That's super sweet. Sims appreciate being around someone they adore. It's cute that he adores him. He just looks at him just like, you're so precious. Just so precious. It's also really, it's actually warm here. Might have to get you into your uh, hot weather gear, because if it's going to be quite hot here, that's probably not a good... Uh... Don't need to overheat in your everyday outfit. I should probably do several ones. Ooh. Oh, that's happening tonight! In the Hanamagawa Cohen. Takiyaki, Tayaki, 
uh, the little fish fish cake things. A town about a wish to traditional outfits, paying respects. <gasps> I found out what they're gonna do. Find Kish and just be like, dude, there's a festival happening. There's a festival happening. We so have to go. Find him and just talk to him quickly. Just let him know there's a fun festival happening. Literally now. And it should tell us. It should do the thing. Like pop up and say, hey, there's a festival happening. Yeah. Festival of Lights has started. Come celebrate the stars and wish for a bright future. That'd be so sweet. Can we bring Kyoshi with us? Yes. We're going to the Festival of Light. That's so nice. But first we need to talk to him. Just be like, dude, there's a festival happening. We have to go. We're here at the festival. Oh, we ended up at our favorite little place. That's so cool. Okay, where is it happening? Okay, it's all happening around here. There's the bonfire. Yamachan's here. Love Yamachan. We love Yamachan in this place. We can get one of these. No one's here though. So they've just got here and it's still like sort of. Still setting up, but there's uh, special machines called food and drinks. I think this is the uh, yeah purchase festival kimono. I'm gonna put Abel in one because currently he's just got his like entire front sort of open up. I forgot this was the what I gave him for his hot outfit, so it's just showing off. What apparently he ha has is a six pack. You're 16. How how jacked are you? <laughs> well, look at uh Nick, look at Nikki Honey Sweet. Go for an old dude. You sure are, you know. You sure are, like, kicking it. Cool. She got a festival kimono. Hopefully you're going to put it on. Because I did say change and wear into it. Kind of want to see how he looks. How are you going to look, Abel? Oh, that's so cool. It's yet Why are you wearing shoes? He looks a little bit, you know, there with the shoes. He's still also super... 19 hours no you've been in, you've been embarrassed enough you've been embarrassed for long enough about what happened to school but look at him in his little kimono it's so cute it's so cute okay let's order one of these vanilla taiyaki matcha strawberry bean and then there's all these let's get a strawberry one because that sounds tasty we'll get a strawberry one and then we'll where did, where did, uh, where did Frendo go? Kyoshi, where'd you go? I can't see him. He went off. Kyoshi, no! We needed to talk. We needed to open up. Oh. Open up. Hey, it's Jun, everybody's favorite Yakuza boss. Turning up to, uh, you know, show that he is the boss around here. And also that he's having a good time. Alright, that's cool. Okay, you got your little, uh, Little thing. Oh, did Kyoshi come back round? Oh, no. Oh, is it the other Kyoshi we're talking to? No, that's... See, I don't know where Kyoshi's gone. I can't find him anywhere. Seeing someone that Abel cherishes his suffering makes him sad. Oh my god, how are you so empathetic to him? Abel. Seriously, it's just so... Give him a pep talk, make him feel better. Just... Tell him everything is going to be alright. Maybe do some uh, make wishes together. Yes. Make a wish together. Nothing says, you know, cheering someone up like, let's make a wish. I'd love to do one of these. Are you cold? Is it cool? Oh, it's cool. Okay. He's feeling, he's feeling quite cold. Oh, what you get? Made a special wish for making a wish together. The stars are shining a little brighter because Abel shared a wish with a special sim. He thinks he's special. Guys, 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 he, his angsty little friend here is just, he just thinks he's like the most precious thing on earth. He, he thinks he's the most like amazing thing, even though he's scowling like every time we see him. Finish up your little, uh. Your little taiyaki. Which, but I'd love to try one of those out. They sound really good. Oh, I just want to go to Japan. I hate that I can't go to Japan and I can't afford to go to Japan. <laughs> I've always wanted to visit. And I, but I 
wanted to go, I should really learn some basic phrases because we have a book hidden in one of our closets somewhere. I love how Yamachan is just vibing right now, just like do the Yamachan. Just a whole mood. Kinda love it. The fireworks are going off, that's so cool. The fireworks went off. Apparently that adds to the industrial footprint though. Deep connection. Now they're just sitting staring at each other. Yeah. Guys, stop staring at each other. Bah. He's still feeling very Stunned. tense, though. <laughs> but they just want to stare at each other. Guys, stop being cute. Alright, guys, just hang out around the... Uh, hang out around the bonfire a bit. You stared into each other's eyes, which... I don't know why. They just sort of shed a moment. It's just like, cool, let's go and uh, hang out by the bonfire now. Yeah. And I really need to get rid of these teenage faces because they're starting to annoy me. <laughs> Just because Abel keeps swearing. It's like, please stop swearing. Ooh, more fireworks. They just randomly come out the fire. The bonfire is kind of cool. And also we change the colour. That's really cool. Identified a new type of fish. I assume there's loads of koi fish around this area. But now they're just like being... Kind of silly. Oh no. Oh. Ah. Uh. I think Kentaro's around somewhere. Light in the mood. Abel remembers the festival of light and how important it is to live in the moment. Wishes may or may not come true, but each day is worth celebrating. These are cute. Abel and Kirshi shared their hopes and dreams while making a wish together at the festival of light. Oh god, his dad has shown up. He's just like, son, it's almost 1am, what are you doing out here? And he's like, just hanging out. Just hanging out. He's being kind of polite right now. And he's like, oh, do you like respectful? He did like a respectful bow. And he, oh, are you going home now? Yeah. Okay. He's just like, we should go, I should go, but definitely come around tomorrow so we can hang out some more. And currently, Kyoshi's having a, a kind of tolerable conversation with his father. Like, it seems to be going fairly well. I don't know where it's going to assume she's with a babysitter or out with her friends, but Abel's going home in his little kimono. Ah. Uh, he had some fun tonight. He shared a little bit of a moment. He had a little bit of a moment, but he made a special little wish, and Kyoshi's going to come around tomorrow, and they're going to hang out. So more and everyone at home is feeling kind of bleh, apparently. And Death Fest just keep happening. Oh my god, look! Guys, guys, look how freaking cool this is! There's little lights all in the river. I love that. I love that. I'm gonna pause and no, I was gonna grab a picture. Half six in the morning, and oh god, Abel, that's disgusting. Don't change the sheets later. That's how they get stale and gross. I'm having to get up and play some video games just to get his fun up, and then have breakfast because everyone else is asleep. Right now, up and taking selfies in the morning, of course. You don't even have a Instagram. I thought I got rid of the neighborhood brawl. We are not having people fighting in the goddamn neighborhood. It simply isn't done. All right, foodies then, you're off to work. You're up. You're not making salad. Shower them breakfast for you. Max is still sleeping. And then we're gonna go out. We're gonna go to the onsen meet up with Kyoshi. We're gonna probably do some snowboarding or sledging. Maybe go to... No, we can't go to the top of the slopes yet. We're not ready for that. We're far from ready for that. We're still like level one, I think, of our snowboarding skill. Yes, we are we're almost at level two. But we still got a long way to go. What do I need to do now? Abel is just clean up and then it's time to go chill right next door at the onsen. That's the perfect thing about having like right next door is you can just head on over... Coda needs to provide tough feedback, be straight and honest. 
Sweet. He still needs to get his fitness club to even get that promotion. And you really need to stop shouting obscenities all the time. Who is that? Oh, it's Triton. I keep forgetting. Like, I see half of my sims and I forget half of them exist. I forget half of them I made and put them down in the safe and I forget they're all here. Alright, we're going to... You know, so we're meeting up with best friend -o. Best friend -o, who they shared a lovely moment with at the festival. A lovely, lovely moment. Did I just knock that? Yes, I did. There we go. That's better. Okay, it is Kyoshi. It's freezing. You should really put your cold weather gear on. Nope, that's not what I want to, to press. Let's put you in your cold weather gear because you must be freezing. It's like, hey, let's go hang out. Instead of going into the onsen, that's just where they were meeting up. I'm actually taking them to go. Yes, yeah, simmies. We're going to have them go over here. Where Abel is going to be like, I'm going to... Let's stop at the simmies machine first because I want to get some more simmies for my collections. And Kyoshi's like, I always thought those things were kind of dumb. Like, he's kind of like known about the whole simmy craze. Like the Void Crit as well. So he's just like, I thought they were kind of stupid, but if you like them, I guess they're not that bad. Then if they're cute little collectibles. Which they are. They are adorable. I love these kind of things. I like, like when I was a kid, I loved going to those machines to get those tiny little collectibles out of them. A lot of them was just pure garbage when you look back at it now. But if it was like things like Simmies and stuff, then I would have been like all over that. Let's grab like a bunch of Simmy capsules. Or we'll grab a bunch. Like, Kyoshi seems a little bit excited. Maybe about the snow, but also about the fact that he's, um, when you wish upon a festival, feeling close to someone nearby. He's feeling that, that nice, close feeling again. Feeling very curious, though. I'm getting a lot of these little simmy capsules, which we can open up later. So I go and talk to Kyoshi, ask him a little bit of. Brighten his day, just make him feel, because he's, he's got a bit of a smile on his face now, so he seems to be feeling like a little bit happier. And there's a shrine we're going to go and have them go and take a look at, because I know. Spread rooms about who recall encounters with a homophobic sim. Debate the existence of vampires, because that's always fun to do. Oh, badgie, Bruna! Flirtatious joke. Why not? Oh, quapo! Orbitak! No beam! Ifla! Etsna! Zomphus! Zampa Shapula, Sebene Gaffa, Rifna, <laughs> or whatever it was, whatever that joke was, it got him in a flurry mood and he found it hilarious. It got him in a flirty mood. He found that he, whatever it was, I don't know what it was, probably something to do with the snowballs, maybe. And he found it hilarious. I'm thinking there's a shrine up here, a really cool looking one. We're gonna go and take a walk over to. Not that one. This one. With the Kadama statues. We're going to have them go over here. You guys go and walk over here. Make an offering of good fortune. What can you offer them? Oh yeah, you've got your spring... <laughs> oh my god, I forgot these were in here. Well, I know they're in there. It's kind of obvious when you go into the inventory and you see them. But the fact that you can offer condoms to the Kadama statues is slightly funny. I don't think they'd want that though. It's not very uh it's not a very appropriate thing. But we can offer the spring crafts, which have like little Valentine's uh connotations to them. But they're having a little chat currently. Finish your chatting and come on over to the shrine. I think you guys could have a good time there. They're like, come on, let's go visit the shrine. Where are you going? I think he was going the wrong way. Oh yeah, Max, uh, Abel did become friends with the other Kyoshi. Oh, I love the, the echoes. That's so fun. Did you make your offering? You did, because your spring crafts aren't there. Uh, next to nothing. An offering a little value still means something, right? I guess that wasn't, uh... I guess that wasn't a good, uh... 
a good thing. Ooh. Oh. Kyosh just complimented him. I guess I guess the offering did suck good. He did he did put him in a flight mood and he just maybe gave him a little bit of confidence to just sort of reveal a bit of interest. That's kind of that's kind of nice, kind of cute. I guess the yeah, the uh, I don't actually know what you offer the Kadamas then. You gotta offer them something good, maybe. I don't think simmies are the answer, but I might look it up. <laughs> but that was so cute that he complimented him, and now he's got like Abel's just like, dare I do something? Abel has like Kyoshi is mysterious, which is really a. Uh, <laughs> It's not really a uh, trait, is it? And then somebody died. As they do. Become best friends forever. Do that, become best friendos. High quality fun. High quality fun, now they're best friends. I think that might give them like, brand new sentiments. No, where are you going? Give them a new one. Oh no! No, 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 I think my. Oh god, no, it broke. God damn it. I can't check the sentiment now. Kyoshi, come back. Kyoshi, come back. I need to I need to find out what this new sentiment was. Okay, deeply connected. Abel has a powerful bond with Kyoshi that is a source of strength and comfort. God damn, these guys have such a powerful bond. Ask about sexuality so identity. Should be an interesting one. Glass. thing to find out. Because now we might be able to find out. Because Abel is just like, I want to know. He's also so happy he's got a new best friend. He's super cute. He's good friends with the other Kyoshi now. He became friends with him and... He like Kyo he's still a bit awkward with Kyo Kyori, Kyori because she was all like, Abel, I think you're really cute, and he's like, I don't think of you that way. I'm sorry. This sim is gay. So I have a feeling that yeah, he's not, he's not out about it, but he's comfortable enough to uh, talk to to mention it to Abel, which is nice. Is it almost fa they spend so much time together, time goes by so quickly. It's so, so crazy. You make my day so much better, thanks for making me smile. Sentiment gain, closer from happy memories. That's so cute. That's so freaking cute. Ask a risky question. He's allowed to try. He's allowed to try. Yeah, I feel like he might. <laughs> oh wow, that that definitely Luby, worked a treat. Lemon Togetherness. So uh, these are cute. I like all these new ones. sentiments because it feels like <laughs> there's so much more now that you're learning about Sims and <laughs> how they feel about other people. Okay, we're gonna go and wind this down by having them go and relax in the hot spring us together but i have a feeling there is something brewing abel feels lots of like really close sentiments about kyoshi and they've shared moments and have been a little bit flirtatious with each other and kyoshi has revealed he is gay but he is so deep in the closet apparently about it that abel is the only person he is effectively come out to because he's a bit afraid of his father finding out and who's this oh it's Kato what's up Kato what's up Kato you're a bit of a handsome you're a bit of a handsome townie aren't you yeah the townies are actually all pretty handsome that they made for this pack around they've been townies are getting cuter <laughs> we're gonna wind this down now we've had a good time with Abel and Kyoshi today. 
they've they've like they've done a festival together where they shared moments they've revealed and opened up to each other now what's up kato you back he's really just chill about wanting to to relax today it seems he's just like i'm in a super relaxational mood okay there's like a bigger bench here they can sit on who's that that's just walked in oh someone called susumu oh look. romance bar sprouted they're just sort of getting oh have you had another breakout kyoshi poor guy is just always breaking out but he's getting out the air oh i see a whim i see a whim what's this he wants to embrace kyoshi is he, is he headed off? Oh no, he just wanted to do some. <laughs> he just wanted to do some. There's a first kiss option already. Okay, if we're gonna be doing first kisses, we can't be doing it in the middle of a bathhouse. We've got to do it somewhere special. We'll save that somewhere here. special. For now, a little embrace might uh might still be just just fine. As if he's ready for it but we're gonna wrap this up so many good sentiments and yeah i think my sentiment my sims profile broke when it revealed the uh, new trait i think that might be because some of the traits are still slightly borked i don't have to remove them because it means i have to uh remove some of the new social traits oh, i gave him a hug and he liked it he did like the hug but I'm actually going to wrap this up next episode because I'm doing a lot of this because I'm a bit, apparently other worlds crash the game and if so long as, so long as I'm here in the mountains of Mount Komarebi my game is absolutely safe oh my god they're embracing again guys stop being cute these guys are being so freaking adorable these guys are being so freaking adorable. Shared joy. Seeing someone that Abel Church is, is feeling happy brings some joy to Abel too. So cute. Guys, it's so freaking cute how much he adores him. Even if his face is looking. They just keep hugging each other and his face keeps breaking out. You do want to take another shot before you hop back into the springs. That one broke. Oh dear. Oh dear, we're going to wrap this up. Why don't you get out? Don't change into a swimwear. We're going to wrap this up. It's been over an hour, so yeah. Uh, I'm excited to see where this is going. It's so cute. The sentiments are so freaking cute. And it's so cute that Abel just looks at Kyoshi. And it's just like, you're just like the, the most wonderful thing that I've ever seen. And I don't want anything ever bad to ever happen to you. It's like when you see, I want to say when you see a puppy, you just want to pick it up and just treasure and protect it. But it's so cute that he looks at him and just thinks like he just wants the best for him. But probably should send them home as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I see you. I see you. I see you. Nope, you're not the one I was thinking of. There's a vampire at the hot springs, because sure. But thank you guys so much for watching this episode amount of um, Snowy Escapes. Uh, tune in for the next episode where I'm thinking we might cool off from Abel's story and maybe focus on Coda? Or at least one of the others because Max needs a date and Asriel and Coda are currently embracing parenthood but I need uh, Coda to start getting his rock climbing skills up because we need to mount that excursion to the top of the mountain very very soon. And I'm excited for that to happen because it's going to be so much fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. See y'all in the next video. Bye bye now. We can